Hi, in this video I'd like to show you how to use animation and interaction features in WebWave Website Builder. Let's surprise our visitors. At first, we want to add some wonderful animations that are going to show up as you scroll down the page. So let's go to the testimonial section. What we want to do is to animate every opinion so they will pop on your screen one after another. Let's select the first opinion and group its elements. We do this in order to avoid the mess in the layers panel. Next, we go to show slash hide effects and choose the animation on show. With another opinion, we do exactly the same thing, except the animation is gonna be half a second delayed. I'm just gonna type here 0.5. Okay, great. We repeat all of that for the last opinion, but this time with a one second delay of the animation. Done. Let's see how the animations look on the preview. I think it's amazing. Good job! Now let's add social media icons on the left side of our page. Facebook and Instagram should be enough. It would be nice to change our element size to 40 pixels and group them. Great! And now let's also change the background color to white to make the icons more visible. We also want to make sure that these icons will be in the same position and always on top when someone's scrolling the page. And that's why we're going to click Fixed Elements. We're also going to toggle the dynamic position so the icons will be in the right place on every screen type, no matter the display resolution. Great! Now let's move to this subpage and upgrade the welcoming image with the Ken Burns effect so that the photo will be animated to seem like it's moving. It makes our website so much more interesting, don't you think? Below, there is a menu and we want it to be visible during scrolling. Let's select this element and now click Fixed Elements and choose On Top when scrolling. Let's set the distance from top at 50 pixels. As you can see, the menu follows us as we scroll, leaving a little bit of space above. Fantastic! Now let's go back to the home page and work a little on the menu. I want it not to be visible at the beginning and show up as you scroll down a bit. At first, let's select the group, fix the element and choose the option Show or Hide during scrolling. To make it look smooth, let's also turn on the On Show and On Hide effect. Now, you should hide the menu in the Layers panel and move the image on top so that the visitor can see it in its full glory. Look at this, it's truly amazing! I think we should also add a pop-up element. When you click By Now, a text will show up. Let's add a rectangle and set it as 100% white. We want the pop-up to be 100% white, no matter the screen resolution, and that's why we switch the units relative to the screen size. Let's change the color to white, make it a little transparent, add the text sale, and center it. We also need a contact form. One more thing that we need to do is to change the button's color. From the icon bank, we are also going to add clothing button. Now let's group all elements, including the background, and let's add an after-click action so that the X button would actually close our pop-up. Let's move to the click action section. In the show or hide elements part, pick hide elements. Now we are being asked to choose which elements we want to hide. Our group, of course. As you can see, clothing works just fine. One more thing, let's set the element to be hidden by default. That's it! To the button by now, we also add an on-click action. This time we need to pick which elements are supposed to show up and it's going to be our pop-up. It looks great, but I'm missing something here. We need to smoothen this whole process out. Let's add an animation. WebWave offers a wide variety of animations, but I think that the most suited to our website will be Reveal and Hide. Stunning. Now our website is really interesting and eye-catching. I'm pretty positive that it's going to amaze our guests. That was fun. Now our website is very dynamic and as a result, more engaging. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to create an online store in, of course, less than five minutes. See you next time. Bye!